My name is Mustafa Ishak Bushaki, and I am a professor at the University of Texas at Dallas. I am also part of the DESI collaboration. I am the one of the co-chairs of the working group that is called the Cosmological Parameter Estimation Group that conducted the analysis in 2024 and 2025. We know for the last century, for the last 100 years, that the universe is expanding in all directions from every single point. What we don't know is after the discovery in 1998 that the universe is accelerating in this expansion, we don't know why. There is the idea of this is related to a dark energy component in the universe, but we don't know what it is. And that gave birth to DESI, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, and its collaboration. DESI, with all the fantastic colleagues that we have there, was designed and thought in order to measure the properties of such a dark energy. In 2019, DESI started to take the measurement, the data, and in 2022-23, we started analyzing the data, and we got to the exciting result that was announced in 2024 on April at the American Physical Society meeting in Sacramento. We announced the result that we found that the dark energy is not the cosmological constant that we thought it was for the last 25 years. Because in 1998, it was discovered that the universe is accelerating, and the founders of that, they got the Nobel Prize in 2011. But since then, we have no idea what exactly dark energy is. And that's what DESI brought us as results. In fact, in for the first year of the data, we found results from different data sets that the dark energy seems to be changing in time, something that the cosmological constant doesn't. We continued to work on that, and actually it was a big, uh, a big splash, a big uh, echo in the, in the media, in the press, in the world last year. Now this year we are presenting the results and we have more evidence, more evidence. So at this point, the evidence is up to 4.2 sigma. What does it mean? It means that there is only 0.002 that this can happen just by chance, randomly, that this result happened by chance, which is extremely unlikely. So with this year three results, we are very excited. And another thing that as uh, a co-chair of the working group that in DESI with my other colleagues, but personally the thing that I'm very excited about is that the evidence is also coming from different data sets. You take this combination, it gives you 4.2 sigma. You take this combination, it gives you 3. 0.9 sigma, you take this one, it gives you 3.2 sigma. So it's coming from all directions, from all different data sets. To me, that is even more significant than a single number itself. Um, the excitement will continue. I think we are presenting these results at the, this year at the American Physical Society on March 19th. But the excitement will continue beyond that because we are accumulating more data for year five. And then the evidence will probably go, in fact, the forecast says that the evidence will go up to 4.9 sigma. In my opinion, we already passed the point on no return. However, when we reach 4.9 sigma, that becomes, or five sigma, 
that becomes an irrefutable discovery. In conclusion, it has been a wonderful journey with Desi to look into the nature of dark energy that is fueling cosmic acceleration. And we are very thrilled to be part of this endeavor.